Welcome back to Thief 3. Uh, it is extremely hot out right now, so um, I don't have my shirt on. Or pants, in fact. I'm actually in my underwear just to record. Yes, so enjoy that mental image. The reason I mention that is because uh, if you hear like my back peeling against my leather chair or something, when it gets all sweaty, that's what that sound is. So, yeah. It's hot. It's over 100 degrees outside. And I don't have uh, any proper air conditioning. All right, let's continue. Oh, shit, whoa. Well, I guess I'll take him out now. <laughs> I didn't think he'd come that close. He made it easy for me. Come with me. Come with me, and you'll see. I don't remember the lyrics to this song, or the melody. Oh yeah, okay, now I remember where I am. It's been a couple days since I played. I think the guard comes down here. I don't think I should put the body here. All right, where's that other guard? Okay, you know, I'm gonna put him behind the tree. All right, so I want that plant and I'm gonna give it to the, uh, what is it, the hammerites, right? Where is it? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, here we go. Yeah, the hammerized wand had burned, which can be done in the tavern. Which is... Right there. And I am... Where am I? Uh, I think I'm around here. Or am I here? Okay, I totally forgot what I'm even doing here. What am I doing here? Right, the boat! Information about the Dark Age is supposed to come on a boat. Okay. Yeah. Actually, no, it's down there towards the bottom. Go to the Docks Pagan Stronghold and read the letter left to you. Yep. And enter the ship called the Abysmal Gale. Which would be there. Okay. And I've got to remember that now I can climb walls. Which doesn't appear to be useful right now, but I'm sure it will be very soon. The, what are you staring at? He's just staring at a fucking wall. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, wow, that was close. I missed. Actually, can I put this out? What is this? Nope, not a torch. Alright, let's wait for him to come back. In the meantime... Fuck you, rat. I guess I could just... Oh, wait, what is this? Timmy, we ain't got room in the warehouse right now. Boss says not until Friday. Your best bet is shipping it all out from there and hoping it don't rain. Hope there's nothing too valuable in that cargo. Anyway, sorry about the mix-up. Bill. Okay. Not really sure what to do with that information, but I'm going to steal this plant in a second. Alright, I think he turns the same way, right? Right? Yes. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh! God! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> <laughs> this time I didn't miss. I thought he stayed there for longer. Whew. All right, let's get a nice little man pile going on over here by the tree. Join your friend. Welp, now I've got free reign of the place. Let's grab this plant. <laughs> Wait, so is that whole thing just going to fit in my inventory? Okay. I have a big backpack. Actually, I don't think I have a backpack of any sort. Hmm. Alright, there's a tiny boat. So, I'm thinking I'm here? Actually, <clears throat> actually, yeah, this is where I am. 
Because I remember there were stairs that went down, back over there. And then a place, a store to go into, so yeah, I'm here. Alright, so it's this way to the Abysmal Gale, and that way to the Pagans. I suppose it doesn't matter which way I do things. And it looks like there's a bridge that goes over to the Abysmal Gale, so I'm just going to go straight across that. Might as well do what I can while I'm here. Alright, where does this go? Yep, yeah, here's the bridge. Need them. You two look like you're going to start talking. Mm, apparently they aren't. At least, not yet. Not until I get within the script-triggering radius. That just goes to the same place. Alright, let's check out what's over here. I wonder if I would die if I went into the water. <laughs> well, I could blow that up. You think they'd hear? Eh, what the hell, why not? <laughs> Let's see if anyone... Ooh, faction status changed. Let's see if anyone comes running. No, I think I was a safe distance away. Alright, let's head over to the Abysmal Gale. Oh, my back's already getting stuck to the fucking chair. Ugh. All well? Whatever. <laughs> the guards are such assholes. They're dismissive of everyone who says anything to them. Sure are a lot of them. There we go, script what? triggered. Zombies. Yeah, they came from that ship, poor bastards. The abysmal gale. And call me crazy, but ain't they a bit more riled up than normal? They're just a bit on the testy side, you know? Grumpy because they're wet. Idiot. Wet or dry, <laughs> zombies don't care. <laughs> oh, like you're an expert. Anyway, don't worry. If one of them gets you, eh, I'll be happy to cut your leg off. Or whatever it is you're supposed to do. You taffer. You only cut off my leg if that's where one of them gets me. See? Otherwise, there's no point. All right, all right, don't get so mad. I'm just saying I help you out in a pinch. That's all. Well, it makes me mad that I got to explain these things all the time. Some of these conversations are great. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, whew. I thought he's going to come here. And I love the fact that they got that one... A uh, voice actor who voice acted a lot of the guards in the previous two Thief games. And they got him back, the one playing the, like, brain-damaged 20 IQ <laughs> guard. <laughs> He's amazing. A guard's life, that one. I could climb up this, but what's the point? There really is no point. And I've learned from uh, one of the. It's <clears throat> trying to piss me off, standing there like that. One of these days, I really gotta work up the nerve to do something. And I unfortunately learned from a uh, comment on one of the previous thief videos that apparently this game does not have rope arrows. Well, I just assumed that the rope arrows were going to be introduced later. You know, games often introduce, you know, better equipment as you go along, but apparently they just don't exist. In fact, I guess I could confirm that just by looking at what the controls are in the menu for selecting things. Let's see, what do we have? Ah, yep, it's not there. Broadhead arrow, water, moss, fire, gas, and noisemaker. No rope arrow. I can't believe they got rid of that. That was one of the best parts of the previous two games. It's such an integral part of what Thief is. No fucking rope. Yeah, I'm really starting to see why people have... a problem with Thief 3. Between the massively downsized levels, which... You know, at first I thought maybe the levels were just... designed kind of like the previous two games, but they simply divided it up into smaller portions to fit into the memory of the Xbox. But no, it's not that. It's not just that it's been divided up into small portions. But within those pro 
within those portions. It's also a lot more limited. Like, there's, I've realized that there's very little verticality. If you look around, the vast majority of the movement you do is horizontal. And especially with no rope arrows, there's very little going up and down. It's basically just, you know, straight, horizontal, more straightforward, basically dumbed down. So there's a lot less freedom. You do have freedom, but not nearly as much as the previous two thieves. So, disappointing, but I'm still enjoying myself nonetheless. And like I've said before, they actually improved on quite a few things. So it's not all bad, at least. Alright, how the hell do I approach this? Because there are a lot of people here. Right, let me grab this. Yoink! I can't put any of these out because none of them are torches. Hmm... I guess I whoa. I guess I could slip around the corner. I suppose. Wow, I'm really exposed. Whew. Uh, how about I go up now? Did I just see? Nope, nope, nope. You didn't see anything. Holy shit, I'm exposed. I'm not exploding this rust mite. Everyone would look up here. Well, this is one rare, rare case where there actually is some verticality. But this is the exception, not the rule or whatever. What the fuck? No. Don't, don't grapple sideways, grapple onto it. What the fuck? I tried to grapple onto this and Gar Garrett just Bend around. There you go. Yeah, the grappling is even worse than in the first two thieves. Uh, I mean, in the first two thieves, it was decent. The only problem is sometimes it just didn't work. Like, you just wouldn't grab or you kind of bounce off or something. But, you know, once you actually started the animation of grappling onto something... It always worked, or, well, mostly worked, but in this case, it is really hit or miss. Like, you usually do seem to, you do seem to often lock the grapple on, but once you do actually grapple, sometimes you spin around or you, like, grapple sideways or something. It's bizarre. Ah, oh, what the hell's up here? Whoa. Did I just move this box? Well, I don't think there's anyone up here. <laughs> Looks like someone's been drinking. Oh yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. Ooh, there's a note. And a ring. Which looks like a little Jolly Rancher candy plunger. Interesting. Brother Vault, it has come to our attention that the pagans art after a small tree that recently arrived by boat to thy district, docks. Tis imperative they don't obtain it. If tis anything like the pagan's magic thus far, twill be bad for us indeed. The cursed thing is being held by the city watch. Methinks they must side with the pagans. Or perhaps, greed has to overcome their sense of righteousness. If thou thinkest an offer of more money would set things all right, all right, then twould be a goodly plan. Brother... Ondalot, thinkest we should burn the tree in a furnace, that the furnace, the most blessed vessel of the will of the master builder, will destroy the tree and consume its terrible magics. Tis a furnace in the tavern there in docks, and perhaps by the builder's grace, twill do the job, though tis a poor substitute for a hammerite furnace. Brother Constance. That is exactly what I was already going to do. Oh. Okay. I thought maybe this was just a single room that you can access from above, but it looks like it actually goes down. What the? Did I just grab like a golden fork or something? It looks like a fork, but somehow it's worth a lot of money. Must be a blinged out fork.
Oh, wait a minute. Is this the tavern? Wait, where's the... Oh, I did enter the tavern. Yeah, I went over the bridge. I went up. And then I guess I crawled along here and went in here. Yeah, alright, time to burn it. Hmm. I hear someone walking outside. It looks like she just... Yep, there's someone. Alright, can I put this out? No. Now, what is this? The City Chronicle Extra, Doomed Vessel, arrives in dock. Alright, so this is about the... What was it called? The something... Gale? The uh, Abysmal Gale? Yeah. The merchant ship Abysmal Gale floated into port on Sunday with its captain and crew of 28 either missing or dead. Witnesses say the vessel, formerly under the command of Captain Robert Moira, seemed to steer on its own. Now under City Watch investigation, the curious are warned to keep their distance from the boat. Officer Dirk Lamar... Or Lemmer... I'm gonna say Lamar. Sounds cooler. Dirk Lamar explains, With this here cursed ship, you got your zombies, you got your ghosts, plus all the dangers of a regular ship. Drowning, splinters, what have you. With that said, this is one reporter that will indeed be keeping her distance. Additional reports indicate the possibility that undead who disembarked from the vessel may be congregating in or around the sewers. Great. How you been? Now oh, shut it, will ya? Jesus! What? It's not just the guards, every single NPC in this game is hostile as shit. The fuck's wrong with you, man? <laughs> How you been? Shut it. She's just trying to be nice. Alright, I think that's where I need to burn it. Um, I need to knock her out. Yeah, she's gonna see me if I'm over there. Ooh. Is he coming back? No. Do this fast? <sighs> Boom. I'll take that. Thank you. Come with me. Come with me, stick figure human analog. Oh god, that was close. Turn around. Okay. You can go right here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Did not mean to pick that up. Bless you. I mean, I'm not here. <coughs> Good night. Actually, hold on. Dance for me. Yes. And that's about all the joy I can extract from your flailing limbs. Here you go, have something to drink. Yeah, actually, yeah, that's how I'll cover it up. I'll just make them... Whoever finds them is going to think he's just a drunkard that drunk himself into unconsciousness. There we go, plant the evidence. Okay, perfect. Actually, you know, he even went for a keg. He's such a fucking drunk. Look at him. Yeah. What the? Okay. Got some dark arts going on here. There we go. Perfect. Whoa. What just moved? It sounded like something just shifted. Hmm. Oh, shit. Okay. I didn't even step into the fire, but apparently Garrett, um, is very stupid. And... done. I think? Did I just do it? 
Okay, I just burned the plant, only the plant wouldn't actually fit in there. I never saw the plant, and it made absolutely no noise whatsoever, and... The game didn't even seem to realize that I did it because it didn't pop anything up. But other than that, I think I did it. Okay. Oh, maybe I can see my faction status here. Okay, yeah. Hammer status allied. Sweet. Okay, so I don't have to, uh... Well, I don't have to kill any more rust mites, and I don't have to avoid them. Perfect. I have a feeling this is going to lead to somewhere I don't want to be. But, we'll see. Because I hear guards right outside. Uh, actually, no, this is exactly where I want to be. That gets me right past the guards. And into darkness. Do you think you're going? Strange. This was always closed before. Could I have would... been a ghost. Oh, that'd be something. I could knock him out, but I think someone else would see because he's right in the light. Alright, here we go. <clears throat> you wish to leave this area and enter the Abysmal Gale? Yes, I do. Man, the ice that's in the drink for like the past couple days when it's been over 100 degrees, the ice lasts for like 20 minutes and then it's melted. And there's a zombie. Hey, what's up? What happened here? Maybe there's something in the ship's manifest. Or the captain's log. I think they might have uh, come across some burial grounds and done a little grave digging. Bursts on impact, creating a puddle of holy water. Throw it undead to damage them. I know. I notice it says throw it undead to damage them, not throw it undead to kill them. Does that mean one will not kill one zombie? Takes multiple. Hmm. All right. So this is an, this is an interesting design change from the first two thieves. Where in the first two thieves, if you had a holy water flask, it basically gave you like a buff for like thirty seconds or a minute or whatever it was. All of the arrows shot from your all of the water arrows shot from your bow would be filled with holy water for as long as the potion lasted, basically. But in this case, you just actually use the flask itself to throw at the zombies. So, interesting change. Might actually be a good thing, because I always thought that having to take a potion that buffs your bow for a limited amount of time was kind of silly. Like, it felt clunky and it didn't make any sense, because... The holy water should last for as long as the amount of holy water you have lasts. Having it take effect for like 30 seconds or something so that the most efficient way to use it is to constantly shoot arrows, you know, and you get more holy water out of it by shooting more arrows, that doesn't make any sense. So using it like a grenade actually sounds like a good idea. Um, where is it? Oh no, it's not in that menu, is it? No, switch items, that's, uh, here it is. All right, there we go. <laughs> Can you blackjack zombies? I have to try that. Whoa. It looks like those physics objects were not activated until something moved, and as soon as I moved the candle, they just shifted.
I think it's looking my way. No, it's looking sideways. Oh, and now it's shambling over there. I believe that's the next one to go into, right? Yes. Go, 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 go. Hmm. Okay, so there's a loud grating, and it leads into a pit of doom that has blood all over it. I don't think I want to walk over that. Do I have a moss arrow? I do. I'm just going to do that. Alright, where's that hallway zombie? Alright, here we go. Oh shit! Didn't work! Didn't work! Didn't work! I think I lost him. <laughs> okay, note to self. You cannot blackjack a zombie. Do not blackjack zombies. The hell did it go? Uh, I think it's back in the hallway. Okay, it's looking away. Just stay there. Yep, just stay there. Okay. Let's search the first floor before I go up to the second. Ooh, holy water. Um, I think he comes into this hallway. Yep, yep, here we go. Alright, let's just go past him. I think there's one in there. Oh, is it asleep? Well, that doesn't really sound like it's asleep, but maybe knocked out or inactive. Yeah, there's one in there. Alright, come on, look away. Or you could come closer, that's fine too. Yeah, roar, 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 I'm a zombie, I'm dead, I'm living in horrible pain, and my soul will never be at rest, blah, blah, blah. Hey, I got problems too, man. Although, thankfully, they're not as bad as being dead. Let's be really quiet here. Alright, I think that's it. I'm good, I'm good. What the hell? Um, that doesn't look good. I'm guessing those fumes don't heal me. Well, I could either go down or up. Uh, let's go up. I don't feel like going down on the ship until I get to know it better. Alright, looks clear. Hmm. I don't suppose I can open that. No. Okay, I think I hear another one up here. Ooh, where does that go? Whoa. That goes... I think that goes all the way to the basement. Or... Oh, shit. Um, I don't think ships actually have basements, but you know what I mean. The lower level. I don't know if there's a proper ship name for it. Oh. I guess maybe cargo hold? I mean, it doesn't have to be used to hold cargo, but it could be the cargo hold, I guess. I don't know, whatever. A lot of these entrances are just broken. This thing at whoa. This thing has taken a lot of damage. I think this is the captain's quarters. 
And I think that might be the captain. Or maybe what ate the captain. Alright, I'm gonna kill this thing. So let's test these holy hand grenades out. Nice! What the fuck? Okay, apparently there's like no particle effect and basically no sound for the holy water. Interesting. And I've got to keep in mind that Garrett... I keep pausing when I say Garrett's name because I keep thinking, did I say Garrett or Geralt? Because I keep mixing them up. In my head at least. I don't think I've ever actually said his name wrong. But in my head, they're so close that I always want to say the other one. I try to think, am I thinking about the Witcher or the Thief? So yeah, I, I need to remember that Garrett throws from the left side. Not the right and not really the center. Alright, looks safe in here. Ew. Moldy apples. Or maybe apples that have been chromed? Chrome-plated? They look chrome-plated more than moldy. got here. Stack of money and a a red Jolly Rancher themed plunger thing. Okay. I believe it's supposed to be a ring, but it honestly looks like a plunger. Of course. His bedside picture is a picture of a pirate. Perfect fit for a pirate. Hey, I'm a pirate, so I'm gonna get some pirate themed art. Very creative. Good job. Looks like the bookcase blew through the wall. Alright, this should be the captain's log. Captain's log, day 42. Cook outdid himself tonight, a fine meal. At least the officer's table, at least at the officer's table, and why not? We've done well on this trip, and tomorrow morning I'll announce them to the men that we'll be steering for home. I'm looking forward to seeing my Edwina. Edwina, is that how you pronounce it? Yeah, I think so. I guess a scarf of hers is just as good a uh, lucky piece as that telescope of mine. Day 43. Weather's been fine, we got a full hold and are heading for home. Should be there unless the... That's it? Damn it. Heading for home, should be there unless the... Well, whatever happened, it happened mid-captain's log. I guess that was the last thing he ever wrote. Well, that doesn't really shed any light on anything. Alright, I guess it's down below. Alright, let's go down this way instead of going all the way back and across uh, near that zombie. Do it quietly if I can. There we go, not bad. See, now wouldn't a rope arrow be really nice right about now? Go all the way from up there straight down. Sure would be nice. There we go, let me make sure I have it selected. Wait, is this it? Oh, this must lead to a different place than that main pathway that goes down below does. Oh yeah, so this is just like a bonus section. Unless, wait a minute, no, it leads up somewhere. Huh. Let me see, let me go up this way and see if maybe this way is inaccessible from up above. Come on. Come on, Garrett. 
Oh, what the fuck? I'm stuck in this stupid floating thing again. What the hell? I can't jump. Uh, how did I get out of this? I think I just finished the level. Shit. Can't crouch, can't jump. I think I have to load. Yeah, what else could I do? Sneak? Nope. Menu? Nope. <laughs> Alright, gotta load. Quick save. Stop recording and quick load. Wonderful. Then we sent Reggie on board, and he didn't come back neither. Witness account, City Watch Records. <clears throat> <laughs> there we go, fixed. Glorious crouch. I have full use of my limbs again. Oh yeah, I forgot to heal. Do I have a healing potion? I do. Oh, I have four. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I think this place is inaccessible. Alright, what is this smoke? Does it hurt me? It's like the fog. Oh shit. God, the movement in this game is such crap. Alright, let me see if this hurts. It just smells terrible. It smells like sulfur. And demon mist. What does demon mist smell like, you ask? Well, it smells like sulfur. Ugh. Zombies almost look more anorexic than the women in this game. What are you looking at? Yeah, walk away. The fuck? Oh, it's a sleeping one. That's what that is. Open this up, might wake him. Whew, it didn't. I think the zombie's on his way back. Yes. I'm just gonna wait here for a minute. Whoa, whoa! What the hell? There's no way he saw me. I was in full darkness. Why did you suddenly move towards me? Whoa. He seems aggravated, agitated. Take a chill pill, man. Or a chill vial. God damn it. Fuck me. I forgot that he throws from the left again. I just smashed it against the wall. Good going. Uh, that's where I came up from. Ah, that's two of them wasted. Two out of three wasted. Looks like a garbage shoot. All right. 
Alright, nothing here. I don't know if that's a door right across. No, that's boarded over. Okay, I could go down another level, but let me explore the rest of this level first. Board it up, board it up. Alright, where does this go? Wait a minute, wasn't I just here? Oh yeah, yeah, I was just here. Damn it. And now I don't have anything to take him out with. I suppose I could shiv him to death. But... That doesn't seem worth it. Alright, where's that pathway down? Here it is. Oh, shit. Uh, shit. Not good. Not good. Do you think they respond to gas? I don't think they respond to gas. I really don't think they do. Shit, there's another one. They have to respond to flash bombs, though, don't they? Nothing to see here. Oh. Okay. Grab whatever the hell is in here and let's get out of this light. Oh, oh, shit, come on. Shit. Not again. No, no, throw. There you go. Yep, yep, right over there. Why don't you look at that one source? Whew. I'm good. I don't know if that actually blinded them, but I escaped nonetheless. Okay, switch back to that. <laughs> what is that one doing? It's like, whoa, I have hands, man. What? If only I could get both of them together. Hmm. Actually, why not? Did they... Are they deaf? They don't seem to care. Okay, there we go. Remember, it's from the left side, so I'm gonna be out here. Good. Okay, 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 okay! Yes! <laughs> Killing two zombie birds with one stone flask. Perfect. Well, geez, this door looks ominous. 
hear like rushing wind and there's two gigantic columns of demon mist right in front of this door at the end of a hallway. Alright, something tells me this is where I'm going to find what I'm looking for. I guess that's my escape. And the fact that they give me escape here makes me think I'm about to find what I need right here, and then that's probably how I get the hell out. Wait, like, is this it? I expected something more epic. Okay, I guess I just found it. Or something that leads me to it anyway. Ship's Manifest. Been a fine take, but nothing real exotic like the last trip. Like that golden slab with a strange symbol. Now that's a once in a lifetime thing. Couldn't seem to make a dent in it or split it up, so I took the whole thing home with me. Captain's prerogative. Edwina doesn't know. Wouldn't want her to. She just asks questions and she won't and she wouldn't like the answers. That I'm less of a merchant ship captain and more of a pirate. What? That doesn't... That I'm less of a merchant ship captain and more of a pirate. That doesn't really follow from the previous sentence, but okay. And we only found that gold slab because we saw a cave that looked like a good place to hide some of our haul. And lo and behold, someone else must have thought it was a good hiding place too, because there was the treasure. Some traps around it too. Lost a few good men that day. Edwina doesn't have to know all that, does she? Heck, she just fret and worry. Like that time she found out about the secret boathouse near the cliffs by our home. I had a real time of it trying to explain that one. Okay. I guess two pieces of information, so I guess what I'm looking for is at this person's home. And also there's a secret boathouse near the cliffs. Excellent! Hmm. The object described in the manifest must be the compendium the keepers are looking for. Sounds like it was brought to Captain Moira's house. Alright, question is where is Captain Moira's house? I got a new map. Oh, I guess that's what I got a map of. Well, it doesn't even matter if I make noise, so fuck it. Yes, I do. As keepers, it is our duty to remain apart, secret, invisible. To become part of the city would be to exert influences. From the eight principles of something. Oh yeah, this is a great place to put me out, thank you. What the fuck? What? I came out of the ladder of the fucking boat and now I'm on the docks? Like two feet in front of an NPC? What the hell? Good job designing that one. It's like, yeah, you're leaving the boat, so let's just have you spawn at a random place on the docks. Sure. Why not? Bye. Oh. Oh, that must go to uh, his home. I guess I have to boat my way over there. Yeah, that's gotta be it. The lead from the abysmal gale has brought me here. To the captain's seaside mansion. Well, former captain. Omoira and most of his crew didn't survive their final voyage, but luckily for me, the ship's manifest did. It talked about a golden slab, which sounds like the compendium of reproach the keepers have been looking for. The log said Captain Moira brought it home for safekeeping. I doubt he knew what he had, probably just wanted it for the gold. My stolen rowboat got me here in one piece, now I just have to find and steal the compendium. There's no way to know how many of the captain's loyal men are guarding the place, but the household will probably be in an uproar over the captain's death. With luck, no one will notice me sneaking around. The widow Moira might know where her late husband kept his treasures. Maybe I'll start by paying her a little visit. Hmm. Alright, difficulty hard. 
Alright, I don't know if there's a starting movie, so once again, I'm stuck in the annoying position of not knowing whether Start will actually load something or just play something. So in the interest of being safe, I'm going to stop. Recording. There we go. Good, it is loading something and not playing a movie. Whew. Sing a song of daffodils, Grey Lady. Choose the one to kill, and you are out. Children's Game, Origin Unknown. Sing a song of daffodils? I have no idea what that means. Hi, rat. Fuck you. I'm just kidding, you can come with me. You're cool. I thought we were friends, what's... What are you doing? Fucking rat. Alright, actually, before I continue, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. I put more ice cubes in my drink, and now it continues its ever... its constant downward spiral into further and further dilution. I'm pretty sure by the end of this uh, recording session, I'm probably just going to be drinking pure water. Oh, apparently I'm sneaking around nothing. Okay. Alright, so there's a secret boathouse in the cliffs. Well, obviously there's nothing I can access right now, but it looks like this leads directly into the building. Alright, let's go. Not. Fine, fuck you. meal for you. Here you go. Enjoy. Just don't eat his brain. You might catch the stupid. It's your turn already. I know, I know. Let me just think. I'm waiting. Don't rush me. I'm about to go. Listen, it's not that hard. Look, you're showing pelicans and mackerels, right? Just play them in order, and you'll have at least two. Oh, barracks. What? What's wrong? You just won. I just won for you. <laughs> uh -huh. hey, oh my I'm god. What did I win? Oh shit, is he coming upstairs? Uh. Who put that out? Oh my is god. Someone in here? I did not think he was about to come upstairs. Whew! That was close. Strange, it seems that all of the torches this went out simultaneously. One of your practical jokes, Whitney. My light's off. I don't know where the switch is. been a strong gust of wind to blow out all of the torches at the same time, but I don't remember feeling a gust of wind. If someone's there, may as well come out. Huh. Fooled myself again. Well, no biggie. Haha, <laughs> you're just imagining things. I'm sorry, what? What's, what's that then? Did you hear something? Did you hear a noise? Was it the sound of me beating you over the head? Yeah, I think that was it.
Alright, that dumbass is still at his chair. Can you knock someone out who's in a chair? We're about to find out. Experiment number one. Are you serious? What found you? Now you're gonna get it! Seriously? Man, that doesn't make any sense. I'm pretty... Yeah, I'm pretty sure in the first two thieves you could... knock people out who were in a chair. Didn't they just, like, stand up and then play the, you know, unconscious animation? That's so stupid. That makes no sense whatsoever. Is that a flash bomb? Oh, it's just a flash bomb. Thought maybe it was another gas grenade. Or, sorry, gas bomb. It's it's a, it's a grenade. Bomb, grenade, same thing. At least in this case. Okay. Oh yeah, I can't forget. I can climb walls. Well, let's do that right now. Ah, that's so awesome. You know what I find strange? To be able to climb the walls, did I not purchase, like, climbing gloves? And unless I'm blind, I'm pretty sure I'm not wearing the climbing gloves I bought that allow me to climb. What? I bought climbing gloves that allow me to climb, but I'm not wearing them, but I'm climbing anyway. Huh? That makes no sense. Holy shit, this roof is loud. I thought this was tile, but apparently it's made out of sheet metal. Clomp, clomp, clomp. Right, well... Uh, the secret boathouse is somewhere on the cliffs, but I have no idea how to get there. Like, what the hell is through that door? That looks like a front door, but it looks like it just goes to the cliff. Can anyone actually enter there? Is there, like, some sort of a... a switchback route down the mountain? I don't know, but I'm going this way. Let's hope I can go around corners. Are you serious? I can't go around corners. Right, well that was 90% useless. Turn around. Shit, I think the other person's gonna see. Unless maybe I have just enough time. No, 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 damn it, I can't get him there. Yeah, he's gonna see, fuck it. Alright. What if I go up here? I'm assuming I can grapple, right? Or you could just fall, that's fine too. I'd prefer it if you grappled. There you go. <laughs> Uh, where do I go from here, though? Yeah, how the hell do I enter this place? <laughs> See, in Thief 1 and 2, there'd be a window up here. But in Thief 3, of course not. There's probably one way and one way only that you can go in. Uh, 
Nope, nothing over here. Yep, it looks like there's just one freaking door. That's so lame. I mean, the Thief series is all about freedom and choosing your own route. And this just takes so much of the freedom away. Alright, well, maybe I can get this guy from this side. Let's just wait here for a minute and listen to the soothing sounds of the sea waves crashing against the... the rock stuff. Hmm, bless you, sir. I mean, I'm a rat. Squeak, squeak. Okay, there we go. Oh, shit. Bloody hell! There's somebody outside! Um, that didn't work. Help! Somebody! Vanished! <sighs> Where did he go? You know what? Fuck it. Wait, did he see me? I don't know, but I'm gonna do this. Alright, see ya. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Please don't see me. I have no idea where they are. I can't hear them. I have no awareness of where they are. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm doing so fucking bad, it's not even funny. Alright, you know, fuck it. Hey, dude, Bells. what's up? Somebody lurking around! <laughs> Alright, yeah, I'm just gonna load. I'll be right back. Quick save. Yeah, I fucked, like, all of that up. History is written by the observer. Propaganda is written by the victor. Keep her book of truths. Okay, try that again, shall we? Hopefully he won't mind this moss arrow being shot right in front of him. Now that's not right. No, that ain't. You better investigate, so yeah, of course. I mean, naturally, if you see something wrong, you go in the opposite direction of where it was. Hmm, that's suspicious. I'm gonna walk in the other direction. Durr. What the fuck is he doing? Are you kidding me? Okay. Come on. <laughs> Bingo. Gotta be fast. This one should be a piece of cake now. And there's nothing I love more than beating a piece of cake over the head with a blackjack. Rest on your sword. Let's see if we can get that wonderfully disgusting sound to happen. No, come on. I want to hear it. No. Oh, come on. 
Ah, it's not gonna happen. Of course, they can't even be opened. Well, I can at least I can enter in here without being pressed for time. Okay, there we go. Receipt for cargo ship Abysmal Gale, Captain Moira, uh, for his regular... Oh, wonderful spelling here. Fur. <laughs> for his regular due, 40 parts per hole, to brung up to his house, the Overlook Mansion. One flask of whale oil, 100 haddock on salt, one gold slab with a strange bit of writ on it, that could na be broke in parts. So Captain M agrees to take less split on the other hull. Blah, blah, blah. Don't think any of the other things matter. Duly signed and approved by Amias Doolittle, Docker's assistant. And also apparently nearly illiterate. Just take care of this. Did someone bump the light noise? switch? What the bloody oh, shit! Someone looking for trouble tonight. That scared me. I actually didn't know he was there. Uh, was that open this way? Let me just hang out here. The chair, maybe. What? Yes, the chair was sneaking. Why don't you arrest it? Point is, nobody's here now. Uh, I shouldn't beat myself up over it. Yes, uh, I saw someone. The door has been picked. The two guards outside are gone, and the main light uh, is out. So now I'm walking around in the darkness. But surely it's nothing. Nothing's wrong, right? I'll just keep walking around in the darkness. Hear you. Nice silenced rug, which will allow me to run. <gasps> All right, think it's clear. What have we got to loot? Nice painting. There's some strange mist that seems to be filling up this house. I think I might be about to be gassed to, de to death. But we shan't worry about that right now. Oh, hi. Hmm. There seems to be some levitation happening inside of this home. And I would knock, knock the guard out if it wasn't for the fact that I know you can't. Because apparently the human skull actually gets thicker and more resistant to sudden movement when you're sitting down. Well, it doesn't look like there's anything worth a damn on the table. So I'm just gonna sneak behind. I have no idea where I am. Gonna go ahead and put this out. Did someone bump the light switch? Funny thing though, guard, I'm pretty sure there are no light switches because I have not seen a, seen a single one in this entire game. I'm pretty sure they haven't been invented yet. Hell's bells! Oh, God damn it! Hey! 
can't see. I tried to hit him, but I guess I didn't have it out or something. I don't know. Whatever. Didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Yes, and it's definitely not you. I'm right tired of all this hiding, you taffin' dog breath criminal. All right, I think I know, that's. I know you heard a noise. I think that's everything of worth in here. Yep. I want to practice that one a bit more. Could use some work. Uh, where are you going? Are you gonna just fall off or... Uh, okay. Just for pissing me off, I'm gonna take him out. What the bloody... You're are you fucking kidding me? Right? Have... It happened again. Uh, I've been blinded. Fuck you, fuck you. Uh, fuck you all, I'm going. Alright, what the hell is happening? I'm uncrouching and then I'm trying to attack, but for some reason it's not. What, what's with the delay? Crouched? And then I'm running, and then... Look, it's working. Why was it not working back there? I don't know, whatever. Yes. Oh shit. Well, that would be Lady Moira. Looked like a... Huh, well, what does it matter? It's gone now. Hey! Who put out the lights? <laughs> Not a thing. What an imagination I have. The lady says that's not a good quality in a servant. Oh, that's a servant. <sighs> oh, she moves really fast. I don't think I have time to get behind her. Okay, okay, here we go. Here we go. Ow! What? Hey! Whoa! Can't see! <sighs> Why does it feel like something's changed? Can't see. Oh. Apparently running before bashing them over the head just doesn't seem to work anymore. I guess I need to be quiet all the way up to them. Like, what the hell changed though? Because it wasn't like that in the last mission I played. Or any of the missions that I can remember playing. See, he's gone into the corridor. <laughs> what kind of guard would I be if I didn't check in the shadows, eh? That is awesome. I love the fact that you can get up against the wall. That's... Oh, shit. Oh, shit, he's coming back. Please turn the other way, because there's light up here. I will find you, you know. Sooner or later. <sighs> What's the matter? You afraid of the big bad guard? <laughs> ah, forget it. <laughs> Makes me mad is all. I thought I was this close to catching an intruder. Oh my god. Ooh. 
<laughs> that was so tense. That was awesome. I think I hit him in the leg more than the head, but okay. Yeah, you flop down those stairs like a slinky. That doesn't look comfortable. 